The growing toll on the virus on young people in Florida. Most of the cases right now are young people, 21 years old. And in North Carolina tonight, more than half of all patients are under 50. And that pushed by hundreds of scientists and doctors tonight around the world, now asking the World Health Organization to explain how long this can last in the air, especially indoors. Here's Will Reeve. Tonight, the virus and its new target. Cases in young people growing, potentially fueled by crowds like this in Missouri's Lake of the Ozarks. In North Carolina, 58% of infections are in ages 18 to 49. In Arizona, half the cases are in people 20 to 44. And here in Florida, the governor says the age with the most cases is 21. Basically, you know, if you're under 40 and you don't have significant comorbidities, you know, the fatality rate for this is, is pretty close to zero. Today, Dr. Anthony Fauci warning the young not to feel invulnerable. Many young people may not necessarily get sick enough to go to the hospital, but they can get very sick. 31-year-old Kara Schiavo has been fighting COVID since March. Her doctors say she may now have asthma for life. I also thought it was only really, you know, dangerous for the elderly until I got it. I exercised before this and it hit me like a ton of bricks and it didn't matter how old I was. And new concerns tonight about how the virus spreads. The WHO's current guidance says the virus is primarily spread by large droplets from coughs or sneezes. The CDC guidelines saying it spreads through close contact through those droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. But 239 scientists from 32 countries have prepared a letter urging the WHO to recognize the potential of the virus to spread through inhaling smaller airborne particles that can linger for longer periods of time, especially indoors. David, some of those scientists who made those recommendations to the WHO are saying that people should be wearing masks even when they're socially distanced and even when they're indoors. David. All right, ABC's Will Reeve will thank you. The Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.